In the wise words of blue collar comedian Ron White, you can't fix stupid. There's not some pill you can take. But what if you could? What if you could improve your cognitive performance simply by taking a pill? Current research suggests this isn't as crazy as it sounds. In the last 10 years, researchers have been making incredible advancements in understanding animal microbiomes. Now, the gut microbiome is the community of bacteria living in your digestive tract, and it turns out that the health of this bacterial community ultimately impacts the overall health of the animal that is living inside. Now, animals with really unhealthy gut microbiomes have shown a variety of cognitive deficits, including poor learning and memory, anxiety, and even depression-like behavior. This is the gut-brain connection. But the causal arrow can go both ways. The gut microbiome itself is susceptible to psychological and other types of stress, triggering a cascade of immune responses, throwing the gut microbiome and the body that it lives in even further out of whack. Good news is, researchers have developed probiotics of beneficial bacteria that can wipe away these cognitive deficits. So, we know that an animal's gut microbiome has a web of impacts on the body that it lives in. We call this the gut-brain HPA axis, with the health of the organism lying at its center. But most of what we know about animal microbiomes actually comes from research with rodent models. We still know relatively very little about the microbiomes of other types of animals and their connections to health. Many species might benefit from a broader understanding of these microbiomes and their connections to overall health. This is the central focus of my dissertation. Because I'm an ornithologist and I study birds, I will be testing for evidence of the gut-brain HPA axis in birds and exploring ways to manipulate these relationships to improve overall health. And what I've found so far is very exciting. In a laboratory population of zebra finches, I sampled each bird's gut microbiome by swabbing its cloaca, which is science talk for its butt. I then put each bird through a series of cognitive tasks to test the learning and memory performance. And I found that birds with healthier gut microbiomes solved one of the tasks faster. And I identified groups of potentially critical bacteria that the not so smart birds appeared to be missing from their microbiomes. This is some of the first evidence of a relationship between the gut and the brain in birds. Moving forward, my next study will manipulate stress levels in wild birds examine how elevated stress affects the gut microbiome, and test whether behavior, cognition, and sexual signaling are altered by these changes. My results have the potential to reduce stress and cognitive deficits seen in injured animals in rehab and release programs, index the health of wild populations, and maybe even fix stupid.